Hello and welcome back to a really exciting video. This is the second episode of Style Scouting. In case you haven't seen the first episode, the whole premise here is that it is a TF2 fashion show hosted in loadout.tf. Meaning you have access to every cosmetic in the game, a whole bunch of posing and lighting options and all kinds of cool things. Participants are free to make anything they can imagine because, well, you don't have to actually buy the cosmetics. That way it's nice and inclusive for everybody. This episode is going to be Halloween themed, nothing but the spookiest, scariest, most spine chilling loadouts. Of course we go in class order from scout to spy, and I'm also going to include a whole bunch of prices for all of the cosmetics and loadouts, so in case you want to snag any of them yourself. Everything was priced on backpack.tf and a big shout out to Palm for helping me get all of that done. Another thing I'm going to mention really quick is because these are Halloween loadouts, we're going to be dealing with a lot of contract and transmute cosmetics. So I'm going to have this icon if it's an item that you can receive from transmutes or Halloween contracts, but I'm going to include the price as if you're buying a tradable one. And some Halloween cosmetics are cheaper in haunted quality rather than unique, so I'm going to have this little symbol kind of indicating that for you. And of course, just like last episode, there are going to be prizes, so every loadout that gets featured in this video is going to receive a holy mackerel signed by me. And one lucky person is going to be randomly selected to receive a professional killstreak holy mackerel. Of course, also signed by me, so at the end of the video, we're going to randomly roll and see which loadout is going to win that amazing fish. But with that, we're going to get right into the scout loadout with this amazing scout made by Waffles. This is going to be featuring the Pestering Jester, the Hypno Eyes, and the Seasonal Employee. The Seasonal Employee has been painted Cream Spirit, and I think this is a really smart combination. I never see the Pestering Jester get any use, so I'm really happy to see it here. It gives me like a costume party kind of vibe. I really like it. The colors theme together nicely. You got the bells on the hat and then the bells on the seasonal employee. It ties together really nicely. Altogether, this loadout is going to cost you 23 keys and 23.8 refined. That is mainly because of the Hypno Eyes. Those guys are like 21 keys. I think they're worth it though. They tie into the bells. They got like that stripey pattern going on with these sleeves. It looks really, really cool. But if that one wasn't scary enough for you, let's move into the second scout loadout made by Domando. This is a very fashionable zombie rocking the baseball bills sports shine with the big man on campus painted operators overalls. And of course, alongside the voodoo cursed scout soul. This is a really nice Halloween scout loadout. I think it is super eerie. I especially like the use of the paint on the big man on campus to give it that like kind of moldy, gross kind of feel. You know what I mean? When you look at it with the rest of the loadout, it just kind of feels like it's been just sitting out in the rain for a month. It looks like the average Goodwill jacket. <laughs> scout is pretty hard to tie Halloween sets together with, but I think this came out really nice. It's also not going to be that expensive. It's going to be one key and 30 refined metal. And that is assuming you buy a scout soul instead of transmuting for one or getting one from a contract. So it could end up being a lot cheaper for you. But finishing off the scout loadouts, <laughs> I absolutely love this one. It's none other than Saxton Hale. <laughs> this one was made by Goro Majima and I'm probably, I probably butchered that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But I really love this loadout. It's such a creative take on a Halloween Scout. And I feel like this is something that Scout would canonically dress in. There's just something really comedic about Scout dressing up as the most buff, manly character in the game. <laughs> really creative idea. I, I dig this, man. This is really cool in my opinion. Of course, it's going to be rocking the Saxton along with the Mutton Man painted muscle man brawn yeah that you know the one i mean <laughs> plus the hot heels painted a much more reasonable paint name manco orange <laughs> this one's going to be really affordable it's only going to be 29.4 refined metal that's one thing i love about this halloween episode is there's just so many unexpected loadout combinations and i'm really excited to show them all off we are going to get into the soldier loadout starting out with Waffles Soldier. This guy is going to be rocking the helmet painted after eight along with the horrible horns painted an extraordinary abundance of tinge alongside the Cave Crusader. This is a really cool like demon warrior type soldier. I think 
the hat and the horn combination is super smart. I think this loadout would look awesome in a bunch of the Halloween maps, especially like the underworld areas. I think that would look really cool. A solid fit for a Halloween soldier. Ha! What was that? Do you, do you guys hear that? Magic! Well, if it isn't the guy who made me do over a thousand <laughs> transmutes to get a chicken Kiev, say hello to Marasmus, everybody! This absolute fiend was summoned by Cheeto, and he's rocking the Skull Island topper with the supernatural stalker painted bitter taste of the feet and lime. Yeah, you would wear lime, wouldn't you, Marasmus? You would do that. You'd be the type of guy. <clears throat> and then he also has the gift bringer painted after eight. Now, despite my massive, massive amounts of salt towards Marasmus, this is a really cool loadout, I gotta admit. Another really creative loadout for Halloween, and I love it, dude. The pricing on this one is going to be kind of weird because the Skull Island Topper is an achievement hat, so it's basically free. And I'll put up the achievement you need to do to get it up there. Uh, just slap it on the screen. There you go. Good job editing Scout Time. <laughs> But the other two cosmetics together are going to be 7 keys and 43.5 refined. Most of that cost is coming from the Supernatural Stalker though, so if you happen to have one from Transmutes or Contracts, you're pretty set. Now we have the final loadout for the Soldier. This one was made by Adinatos. Or maybe it's Adinatos, I'm just going to call him Adinatos because that sounds cooler. <laughs> This loadout uses the Crypt Cloak along with the Supernatural Stalker and the Diplomat. I really love this loadout. It gives me like magician, sorcerer kind of vibes, but it's such a smart use of the supernatural stalker replacing soldiers eyes. I think that is super neat. And the crook cloak in general is just criminally underrated. I really like that hat. This one is going to be five keys and 20.4 refined, but it becomes much cheaper if you do your contracts or transmutes and you happen to get a supernatural stalker. Starting us off with the pyro loadouts, we have this awesome pyro made by Palm. This pyro is rocking the MK50 along with the Space Diver and Creature's Grin. Now you already know I am a sucker for the Creature's Grin, but look at how cool this is. We have a monster in space, an absolute classic with a splitting jaw. And if you say Among Us, I'm gonna punt you. I really like this use of the creature's grin. I think it looks awesome. Really good pairing with the helmet too, because normally this would clip. There's a little tiny itty bitty bit of clipping there, but it's not that bad. I think it still looks really nice. This one is gonna be nine keys and 26.8 refined, but say it with me class, Tradable versions of Halloween cosmetics are really expensive. But seriously, nine keys for a creature's grin? <laughs> Ejecting that pyro out of the airlock, our next pyro is made by Baolot. He's got the Wandering Wraith with the Pyromancer's remains painted after eight alongside the Fearmongerer. I really like this. This screams Halloween to me. It's simple, but I think it looks fantastic. I could imagine this guy starring in a horror movie, but the only real horror here is the price. <laughs> 10 keys and 30.1 refined. Oh boy. <laughs> Just goes to show the only thing scarier than a demon is rampant capitalism. Last up for the pyros, we have this absolutely insane combination. This was made by Latau and it is featuring the Hat Out of Hell, the Beaten and Bruised, and the Voodoo Cursed Pyro Soul. This thing is insane, dude. I really like this combination. I think it's super smart. Just a really nice use of the Beaten and Bruised. This is the kind of thing I was excited about seeing when I saw that the Beaten and Bruised got added. Such a fantastic cosmetic and it was used to full effect here. Very demonic, very creepy, perfect for Halloween. It's also going to be extremely affordable. It's only going to be 26.4 refined, which I think is an absolute steal. I'm going to be honest with you. Why is the Beaten and Bruised so cheap? I know it's a blue, but like one of the best misc cosmetics I've ever seen. Now we get into the Demo Man loadouts. Let's I'm summon the, that. That is that is. That's not what I meant by summon, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna roll with it. Okay. This one was made by Waffles, and I really like this. It uses the Alaka Blamicon, the Two Woomba Tunic, and the Death Stare painted ye olde rustic color. I think the color combination here is really really smart. Even if you ignore the skin on there, obviously we don't include skins on the prices of the loadouts. 
but if you just look at the hat, misc, and body cosmetic, I really like how that white tooth color from the Alakablamicon is carried throughout the rest of the loadout with the Death Stare and the Toowoomba Tunic. It's just a really, really smart combination, and I love how it looks. Now you're probably thinking, well this looks amazing, Scout Time, surely it's really expensive, right? That's the best part. If you don't count the skin, this is only going to cost you 11.6 refined metal. That is insanely low in my opinion for this level of just flawless color coordination. It looks so nice, dude. I am a big fan of this one. But getting into the next- Whoa! Magic on mayhem! Okay, we need to have a rule against participants just bursting onto the stage like that. This is not good for my insurance. This public safety hazard was designed by Wyro, and it features the point-and-shoot, the Man of the Seven Seas, and the Allfather. Absolutely fantastic wizard, sorcerer kind of demo man. The colors theme together really nicely. I especially like the gold on the point and shoot tying into the gold on the man of the seven seas. It looks really nice and there are few things better for Halloween than a sorcery themed set because there are spells all over a bunch of the Halloween maps. This guy is going to be pretty expensive though. It's going to be five keys and 7.5 refined mainly because of the man of the seven seas. Now, if we could get the final demo man on stage, and could he maybe not pose a public safety hazard? I mean, that's that's probably fine. Uh, does, uh, does everyone in here have a mask? I, I don't know if he's contagious. This strapping gentleman was designed by Upbeat Spade, and it features the Nightbane Brim along with the Captain Calamari painted Zephaniah's Greed, and of course the Voodoo Cursed Demo Man Soul. I really like this loadout because usually when people use the Captain Calamari, they tie it into a normal pirate demo man loadout, usually with the Man of the Seven Seas and then some pirate hat, which looks really good, but I wanted something a bit more unique, you know? And I saw this and I was really impressed. It gives me like, like a, like a sunken sailor, like he's been lost at sea, you know, he's coming back for Halloween, whatever. Plus, it's using a new hat, which is always something I love to see. Very, very cool to make these creative loadouts with stuff that we just got added into the game. Very, very solid. Now, the pricing on this loadout can be pretty steep to very cheap, depending on your transmute slash contract luck. This guy is going to be four keys and 26.7 refined if you buy everything tradable. But that cost gets bumped down a lot if you get the Captain Calamari and Voodoo Cursed Demo Man Soul from contracts or transmutes. Now we move into the heavy loadouts with this handsome devil dressed with the handsome devil designed by the handsomest devil, Waffles. Like I said, this rocks the handsome devil, the binoculars painted the color of a gentleman's business pants, and the Capitan's caftan painted particularly drab tincture. It amazes me how I keep doing these really, really long names in one take with one breath of air. Uh, <laughs> jokes aside, this is a really cool loadout. I love that subtle detail of having that gentleman's business pants paint on the binoculars to kind of tie that yellow color into the face. Very, very clever attention to detail there. Looks very mythological. Honestly, he looks more trustworthy than most demons I've seen. I don't know, man. I'm not saying I'd strike a deal with him, but I mean, I'd consider it. This one's going to be three keys and 41.2 refined. And following that one up, we have this heavy designed by Tau, featuring the Horror Shawl, the Brimstone, and the Soviet Strongman. Now this one almost looks like he could be like a henchman or a guard for that last heavy, you know what I mean? I don't know, I'm kind of getting that like enforcer vibe from this heavy, and I think it looks really cool. I never see people taking advantage of the tattoo list style for the Soviet Strongman, and I think that's such a shame, dude, because it looks so good when you use it right. Terrifyingly simple, I really like this one, and I really like its price point. It's only going to be 15.3 refined metal. Finishing off the heavies, we have this absolute behemoth. His attire was designed by Cheeto, and he is wearing the Dark Helm along with the Roadblock, painted a distinctive lack of hue, and the Bone Cut Belt. Very smart combination in my opinion. You got those like rugged, tough cosmetics, all with spikes on them, and it just ties together so nicely. This obviously makes me think like Mad Max, like big, tough, final boss kind of guy. 
This one really suffers from being an old Halloween cosmetic. In total, it's going to be about 15 keys and 10 refined metal, but most of that is because of the bone cut belt. I knew old Halloween cosmetics were expensive, but this video is really telling me just how expensive they've gotten. <laughs> And they called me crazy for doing over a thousand transmutes. Who's laughing now? Uh, Marasmus. Marasmus is laughing. He took all of my money. But there's no time to reflect on my horrible financial choices. We are moving into the engineer loadouts with this one designed by Cheeto. It's got the Tin 1000 with the Iron Lung and the Voodoo Cursed Engineer Soul. And I really love this combination. It is so smart, dude. It's, it's like a cybernetic zombie. But you got the glowing eyes on there from the Tin 1000 and with the Iron Lung's like chest light. It's so nice, dude. A very, very smart combination. I am a big fan of this loadout. It absolutely screams Halloween, and I think the trap that a lot of Halloween loadouts fall into is they get too wacky. Like, you just throw a bunch of random Halloween cosmetics together and you hop into a game, and cursed loadouts are really fun. But I appreciate the Halloween loadouts like this that are obviously Halloween-themed and scary, but they have a theme going on. You know, it makes sense, it works, and I admire that, man. It's nice. This one's going to put you at three keys and one refined. Dragging in our next contestant, we have this engineer designed by Latau. Can I even say designed? Does torture count as designed? I don't think this is consensual and I don't think he's enjoying it. But hey, I don't get paid enough to ask questions. This guy is sporting the hook, line, and thinker with the Little Dutchman and Trencher's tunic. Another really smart combination with the Little Dutchman and Hook, Line, and Thinker. You got the ghost ship casting like a ghost hook to grab the engineer. Galaxy brain combination, dude. I was blown away when I first saw this. Very Halloween, very disturbing, but very cool. And very cheap, too, if you have the Little Dutchman from Transmutes or Contracts. But if you're not that lucky, it's going to be about 2 keys and 38.4 refined. But the final engineer is no slouch either. This one was also designed by Latau. Uh, he really has a knack for good engineer loadouts, I guess. This one has the snaggletoothed Stetson along with the El Caballero and special eyes. I love the combination of the red eyes on the Stetson with the special eyes obviously being red. Very smart combination. And I think the El Caballero has those nice browns in there that ties back to the hat. And it all looks really, really nice. Gives me like a demonic, evil, bartender kind of guy, and I dig it, man. Maybe like a cowboy? And it's going to put you at about 1 key and 19.2 refined metal. Now we move into the medic loadouts with this one designed by Nomad MK. We've got the Grim Hat painted Team Spirit with the Tomb Readers and Vampiric Vesture. Now the Vampiric Vesture is one of my favorite medic body cosmetics in general, and this is such a beautiful use of it. You have that gold buckle on the Grim hat that ties into the gold on the vesture. The Tomb Readers have that black shading that ties into the hat and body cosmetic. It just looks so good, man. Very, very, very smart combination. You can tell this one was really well thought out. I'm honestly tempted to buy this one for myself, dude. It's that good. Absolutely adore this one. It's going to cost you about 12 keys and 46.7 refined. Next up is a medic loadout designed by Beolot featuring the two fort knight, the Kriegs machine 9000 and the low grav loafers. Really cool robotic medic loadout. It all ties together really nicely and he's showing it off with the blute sauger, which just complements the loadout so beautifully. I really wish body cosmetics like these weren't Halloween restricted because this would be such a nice year-round loadout, but hey, you know, Valve's old restrictions were pretty weird. <laughs> really awesome loadout here. This one is going to set you back 10 keys and 37.3 refined, but honestly, I think it's worth every penny. Now, we are moving into the final medic loadout. This one was designed by Latau and it features the Victorian villainy painted an extraordinary abundance of tinge along with the Medi mask painted the oldie rustic color and the ward. I am out of breath. This gives me really like mad scientist vibes, even like an apocalypse medic. 
very cool loadout. I love the use of the Victorian villainy here, and it just looks amazing altogether. This loadout is going to cost you two keys and 16.7 refined. Now we move into the sniper loadout, starting out with this one by Wyro. He's rocking the Holy Hunter with the Bushman's bristles and of course the Voodoo Cursed Sniper Soul. This is a really, really nice zombie sniper loadout. It's got that Holy Hunter on there, so it has the blood on the hat matching the blood on literally everything else on the sniper. <laughs> and the bot killer is a nice touch as well. Absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite things for Halloween is seeing all the zombie loadouts. I think that is such a cool genre for loadouts. And it's going to be three keys and 33.5 refined. Moving into the next sniper here, we have the Hallowed Headcase, the Huntsman's Essentials, and the Toowoomba Tunic. This one was designed by Palm, and I cannot help but applaud him. <laughs> The only things I have heard about the hollowed head case are negative, 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 negative. People always whine about getting it in trade-ups. They call it the worst Halloween cosmetic in the game. So I really love that it's getting use here. And I was just really impressed because this loadout looks good. It themes together. It makes sense. It looks awesome. And honestly, am I the only guy who thinks the hollowed head case looks pretty cool? Is that just a me thing? Like if you pair it with the Razorback, it would look pretty cool. This loadout is only 35.4 refined. Next up here is a sniper designed by the British. <laughs> what a fantastic username. Jokes aside, I really love this loadout. This is such a smart use of the cranial conspiracy. It's painted value of teamwork with the scoper's smoke and eye catcher. What I really like about this one is it looks like a normal sniper until you look at his head. You know, if you're in a sniper duel, you're looking at each other's head a lot. And imagine scoping in on this normal sniper and then you see his head. It's like all cut up and red and he's got an eye patch. That, that's freaky, man. I really like it. Perfect for Halloween. Really, really smart use of the cranial conspiracy. I'm so impressed by that. This one's going to cost you five keys and 7.2 refined. But once again, folks, most of that cost comes from the Halloween cosmetic being priced as a tradable item. So if you get it from a transmuter or a construct, it'll be a lot cheaper. How many times do I have to say it, man? But now we're in the final stretch. We are in the spy loadouts. Starting us off here is a spy designed by Latau featuring the Nightmare Hunter, the Beaten and Bruised, and the Voodoo Cursed Spy Soul. Like I said before, I really love seeing zombie loadouts, and this is a fantastic one. You've got the beaten and bruised that restores Spy's face. Normally when you just use the voodoo soul, it's like a skull, you know? Really smart use there. He's got a bloody face, his suit is all cut up and bloody, and then they paired it with the hat that is all cut up. Color-wise, it looks amazing. Theme-wise, it is perfect. I love this loadout, dude. And they even paired it with the big earner, so it has that little bandage on the knife. Little details like that, man. I love it. Now at 11 keys and 24.3 refined metal, this guy really suffers from old Halloween item is very expensive in tradable form itis. Seriously, why is the Nightmare Hunter over 10 keys for a tradable version? I, uh, huh? <laughs> The strange world we live in, man. But our second spy loadout is designed by Waffles, and it is using the Twisted Topper painted Distinctive Lack of Hue with the Assassin's Attire painted Noble Hatter's Violet and the Turncoat painted Distinctive Lack of Hue. <gasps> Woo! I really wanted to challenge myself to see if I could do that in one take, and I did it. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic loadout, dude. I love how the tie from the Twisted Topper ties in with the tie from the Assassin's Attire. How many times did I say tie in that sentence? <laughs> really, really smart combination. Even the tie from the Assassin's Attire kind of ties into that uh, headband from the Twisted Topper. And then the black from the Twisted Topper ties into the black on the Assassin's Attire as well as the black on the turncoat. It's just so cohesive, man. It looks so nice. Theme-wise, it is perfect. It gives me like a, like a ringmaster, carnival, circus kind of vibe. Very, very cool loadout. It's going to be three keys and 39.8 refined. Most of that does come from the paint, but honestly, I think it's worth it, man. It looks so good. Now, alas, all good things have to come to an end. Our final loadout is going to be this spy presented by Fontasius. He's got the Hyperbaric Bowler with the Upgrade painted an Extraordinary Abundance of Tinge and the Voodoo Cursed Spy Soul. 
This really reminds me of that engineer loadout from earlier, kind of like a cybernetic zombie kind of deal. I think that is such a cool aesthetic, man. It looks so cool. Very, very creepy, dude. I dig it. I really dig it. It's pretty cool that you have the voodoo spy soul where it usually has like spy's skull there. There's no flesh left on his head. But then you have like this upgrade kind of encasing the hyperbaric bowler and it's still got his brain intact, which it's pretty cool, man. Very interesting little detail there for theme. And I think it does wonders for kind of the story building for this loadout. I like it, man. I like it when loadouts have kind of like a character in there, you know? Fantastic way to end us off. This guy is going to be about two keys and 28.4 refined metal. I have had so much fun fun making this episode dude i i am so happy that i got to do this again i'm so happy that i got to make a second episode of style scouting but we do have one last thing to do and that is select the winner of that beautiful professional killstreak holy mackerel signed by me i've got a random number generator with numbers 1 through 27 for each of the loadouts that we have featured in this video i'm gonna hit generate and we're gonna find out the winner Number two, number two, let me check my list. Which one is that? I scroll up, it is Domando. Fitting that a scout loadout wins the professional killstreak, holy mackerel. Congratulations, Domando. That is the professional killstreak prize. But of course, everyone in this video is getting a normal holy mackerel signed by me. I wanna say a big thank you to everyone that's participated in this episode. I really love doing this series. It's a lot of work from an editing standpoint, but it's so worth it, man. It is so, so worth it. Really fun community event. Everyone's been loving it, and I couldn't be more grateful, man. I could not be more grateful. Thank you so much for spending your Halloween with me, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your spooky season. You might see the zombies in your nightmares, but you'll see me in the next one. <laughs>